assuming you had seen some level of traction in cycling at that point, I'm assuming you'd gone up through the cats and you were starting to win some bike races and this wasn't, you know, somebody who just bought a bike in this sort of crazy venture. So I, I bought the bike, um, trained for two or three months and my mate went to a race and he was like, mate, you got, you got to fucking do this. This is just fucking lively. Like, <laughs> um, I was like, I'll like, do a bit more training. Come on. And he's like, nah, just like, check yourself in at the deep end. And I was like, go on then. Uh, so I went there and uh, I, I think I came second in my cat four race and like just felt alive. Um, like alive. Uh, and I, have, I haven't felt a natural high like that um, for as long as I can remember. Uh, you know, you can feel artificial highs, but that's something slightly different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a different podcast. <laughs> yeah, all together, yeah. But, um, you know, so yeah, and I think it's, it's, it's a very healthy thing to do and, and a good way to uh, divert the energy. But yeah, fr from them, basically. And that was at 25. But I had a, a thing where uh, I bet some guys in the office they're like, nah, mate, you're, you know, you fat bugger. Like, you can't run a marathon. I was like, what are you lot on about? Um, I, give me six weeks and I'll run that thing in three hours. You know, being Billy Big Bollocks. Um, anyway, I've managed to, like, uh, sponsor a uh, charity, uh, which fortunately was to a good course, uh, cause. And I got myself a place in the London Marathon. And I have never suffered so much to that day. That and the RAS. Uh, the two times in my life where I've thought, like, <laughs> I'm properly questioning my well-being here. Um, <laughs> anyway, I ran the, mar the, run the marathon at, I don't know, 83 kilos, like, not in great shape, at, and 259, 58, to give you an idea of, like, how much I suffered to stay with that pacer. I, I was dropped, Ooh, came back. That's a pacing strategy. Like, collapsed at the end. But then I thought, like, this is fun. Um so that was a few months before. So I knew I sort of had that ability to suffer uh, and to hang on. But yeah, then when I started this cycle racing, it was something else. But then the nice thing about cycling is you can, you can really suffer, but then it doesn't matter how much you think, how tough you think you are. Like you have to know about the sport. There's tactics involved. Uh, there's equipment, there's uh, training, there's nutrition. And like there's a level headedness in a race that you have to, have to to apply the correct decisions 